Okay, so quiz review begins. Yeah, any questions you'd like to see from the homework? We ought to do at least one. Yeah. Uh, 30 seconds. 35? Yeah. All right. Says sketch each parabola using the given information and what they give us vertex and y intercept. Okay, plot a dot, draw a view through. Be a good labeler. Three, six, dot, call it V and if the y intercepts down here at two, which way has it got to face? The only way to do that is go like that. Won't get easier than that problem. All right. Anything where we actually have to take an equation and solve it? Yeah. 11. Yeah. Now, I guess before we leave 33, since one of the questions on the quiz is you getting a picture and writing an equation for it, let's take you back to unit one. Okay. Write an equation for that. If it's a parabola, then it is x squared. Okay. It's going to be an x squared. And what three things happen to it? Flip up and down. So up, down is where? Inside or outside? Outside. So fire a negative out here. Welcome to half credit lane. And it went three which way? Um, right. Three to the right. Sideways is inside again. So what do I got to write, though? Minus 3 or plus 3? Minus 3. Minus 3, yeah. And it went up 6. Up is outside, right? So put what here? Plus 6. Yeah, full credit there. Uh, the only difference with what we're doing in Unit 2 is this 6 always gets moved over here. I would accept that for full credit for sure. Right? And do you remember how to do this? Okay. Always change. You see negative three, that's positive three. You see minus six, that's positive six. Okay. And it's a what? Smile or frown? Frown. Okay. All right. Number, what was it? 11? Okay. Perfect. Yeah. There we go for number 11. And what did I say I wanted? I wanted the picture and our little chart. With all these things, if that's what's on your quiz. Okay. But, right. How are you going to find the vertex today? Start with opposite of B over double A. What is opposite of B? Okay, so that's going to be negative two and two A's. Careful here. What's A? A is negative one. So two of those makes, well, negative two. And now what does that turn into? Positive one. Okay. Now that you have the x coordinate, h, all right, plug it in. Now, what did I teach you to do so many times? Before you plug it in, parentheses, where the x's used to be, now plug in one and do the math. Let's see, over here, a little bit of a tricky question. One squared, right? You got to do that first. As one, but it turns into what? Negative one. Negative one plus two. 
And plus five more. So seven minus one is six. And then you will plot it, call it V. And what was this one, smile or frown? Frown, okay. And let's see, so we're about to sketch it here. But let's let's find the y-intercept first. How are you going to do that? Get rid of all the x's. And what's left after all the x's disappear? Just the five. Okay. So put a dot there, label it. And now you can do the frown going through five. Okay. Axis of symmetry. I got my arrow drawn from what? Okay, it's always x equals, and what does x equal? One. And finally, does it have any x-intercepts? Eyeball the picture, has how many? Yeah. Two of them, okay. This will be the toughest thing we got to do. And how, what was like the secret to this? Okay. You're going to want to pull the negative away. And then factor it. All right. Now, naturally, the one they gave you doesn't factor. So you can leave it be for today. But on the quiz, I'll give you easy one to factor and find the two numbers. Okay. And Somebody I'm sure knows. What can you do if it doesn't factor besides cry? Quadratic formula will save you every time. Okay. Nobody likes to do it, but it works every single time. Okay. Boom. Okay. So that's a good problem to review and a quiz type problem. All right. Anything different? Anything else? Do one more? Yeah. 27. 27. It's like the one we just had. Well, let's do this. Find me before we can put it in vertex form. Okay, we got to find the vertex. So let's go. What is opposite of B? Two, two over two A's. Two. So what's that? Negative, negative one. and one. Plug in the negative one. What does that give us? Is that one minus two plus five? Four is correct. And you're done if you can put the negative one and the four in the right boxes. Okay. Who goes here? This is the X. So that's this guy. And if it's minus one, you should be writing what? Plus one. And that's the Y with a pick. Okay. All right. So that should do it for homework. Yes. All right. Uh, straight up review time. Let me give you two, two U tries, and then we'll go. Yeah, feel free to play along here. Try this one. Yeah. 
Okay. So you need to be able to sketch it, fill in the chart. Write it down. Before you mess up the entire thing, what's got to be step one? Got to move the two. Okay. And you remember that for 10 minutes and do this on the quiz. How do you move the two? All right. Now it's ready for you. And follow. Follow the board here. Find Y intercept, X intercept. X symmetry and vertex. Vertex, remember, is HK. You always switch it, double switch. Okay. Other line. Where's K? Let's start with that, right? Vertex. Sorry about the accent shut there of you. But we might as well make the practice talk to the game. I bet that I'm going to be around, but I Thank you. 
One more loop around. Let me know if you have a question. All right. All right, let's go through this together. All right, so we need H and K. Remember, it's X minus H, Y minus K. Like that. So, uh, But really, what did we say? You always do what with it? Which, right? So you see minus three, so what's H? Positive three. And, all right, I like one of you instantly went here and put the three before you even finished with the vertex. That's that's getting that out of the way. All right, and what's the opposite of that? Positive two, okay. So now you've already gotten the vertex and that's symmetry, right? B, a good labeler, three over, two up. Call it what letter? V, and what was it, smile or frown? Frown, okay. And let's find the y-intercept first because if it's like one or something, then that's good. Well, what if it's supposed to be down here? So we don't know yet, so we do what? Plug in zero for all x. Okay, so do that. Got this. Okay. And okay, do not commit that algebra fraud. I know you want to cancel these negatives. All right, but you're supposed to do what, Jim Doss? Parentheses. What's after parentheses? Exponent. You got to do this first. Okay, now what's negative three squared? Positive nine. -er. And now it's negative. And what's your last step, Paula? Add two, and we get negative seven. Okay. So negative seven is way down here. Be a good labeler. And now draw through there. Good enough? Good enough? Right, now we got to find these two guys, and on the quiz, I'm going to make them nice, clean whole numbers. All right, not so much this time. How do you find x intercepts? Get rid of y. What's that going to look like? This. Yeah, when the y disappears. And now, how many times I've taught you this? Put the box around the X and start moving stuff to the other side. What's the furthest thing away from the X? The negative, the minus three, or the square? Square. Oh no, the square. The square is the rooftop of his house. There. This is out in the front yard. Move that first, and don't overthink this. You just got to do this. Okay, so now we're here. Now the square is further away than the minus three. So how do you undo squares with square roots? All right, star this problem though. Who put that square root there? We did. And anytime we put the square root, you got to make it what? Plus or minus, right? Because how many x-intercepts are we looking for? Two. If you don't put plus or minus, you're cooked. 
Okay, we need two answers. All right, so this goes away. We got x minus three. So what would be the last step to get rid of the minus three? Move it, how? Add, Add it, okay. And now you're welcome to leave this B since it's not a whole number. This guy is three plus radical two, and this is three minus radical two. Okay. If you have a calculator, obviously you can get a decimal, but not gonna have one today. And you're not gonna get anything like that. Okay. Yeah, what if, let's see, instead of radical two, it was radical four. Okay. Let's pretend. Okay. If it was radical four, what's square root of four? Careful. Plus or minus two, right? Plus two. All right. So you would have to do three plus or minus two. What's three plus two? Five. five. So that would be a five. Oops. And three minus two would be one. one. Notice what? How far is it from three to five? Two, so it better be two from three to one. Yes. So that is a vertex form problem. Not bad. Okay. So what's left? Let's do a standard form prob. And let's see. I'll give you a standard one here. Okay. All right. Write this one down. The picture and the chart. And again, we already went over these uh, homework problems today. So remember, it all starts with what? Negative B over 2A. That'll give you H. Plug it in, you'll get K and everything else. Same one, pretty much. Except you will have to factor to find the X intercepts. That's the tough thing you gotta do then. I see you factor back.
Not going to be in the brown this time. Negative Take a look. Let's go. Opposite of B is what? Opposite of B is negative six. Double A is two, and you are correct. That is negative three. Okay. And this was a most missed on that little uh, fourth question algebra one thing I gave you. All right, you got to be able to plug in negative three and get a number here. So do that first. Now do you plug in? And what's uh, negative three twice squared? Positive nine or minus 18 plus five. So what is that? 14 minus 18, not positive four, but negative four. Negative four. Let us see here. Plot it, label your graph. That is a V. Was it a smile or a frown? A smile. I can draw this half for sure, but I don't know if it's supposed to go through under the axis or above. So let's see, what should I always do next? Yeah, call that what? X equals, what if I just put the negative three? It's only worth like a point and you just lost it. You're supposed to say X equals. Okay, I think you got that. All right, let's put in zero for all the X's. What's left? Five. That one's the easiest question on there, right? So it's going through positive five. Label it. Draw it. And the toughest thing we, we have to do every time is find these X intercepts. Yeah. So this one, star this factor and we go 
What do you got? X plus and X plus, right? Five and one. And pull out the zeros. What makes that zero? Does this look like it could be a negative five? Yes. Does it look like it could be positive anything? No. So remember to always do the old switcheroo. You see plus five, it's negative. And this one, don't even need it. What did we say? This is two, so this has got to be two as well. Okay. And oh, don't forget, after all that nice hard work, fill in your chart. That's the quiz. So one of these, and before I release the hounds on this quiz, all right, what's going to be the most missed here? You guys tell me. What, what common errors are we making? Okay. Um, well, I definitely think, don't forget, factor to find x-intercepts. But what else do you say? Making them opposite. Okay. Right. How about go back to the first type of problem? Okay, what do you got to do? First thing, the minute I hand you your quiz, after you write your name, move the. Do you have to know, but it's. If you don't, now you got to remember this switches, but this doesn't. Okay, you're going to get confused. I'm getting confused talking about it. If you move it, now it's switch that to what? Positive and switch that to, yeah. It's the switch, switch if you do it my way. Okay. All right. I think they're ready. Okay. Let's do it. Fine work, ready to show off. 